Hello YouTube, we're here at the 2023 Amherst Model Railroad Show and here we're going to take a look at Ather. So right here we have the Surfliner, some of the pre-production samples they've sent over so far. Even the, the interior is detailed on these. And here are some of the items that they already have in stock, some that are coming uh, next month. Already have this on pre-order, both of the 50th anniversary Amtrak engines here. I like this um, SD90 Mac. It's very nice. And we'll have a demonstrator version over here on this side. It looks pretty good. This one's really nice. I like this one. It's the SD59M-2. Detail's incredible on this one. It's got the flared radiator in the back. Really nice. So now we're looking at this BNSF SD60M. I don't really want to touch it, but I have to. The, the lighting's really poor here, you can't really see it, but that's better. That's a beautiful model. This one I, I might have to add to my pre-order list. A couple really nice models they have here. All right, so here's the Athlon Genesis new announcement. We have the Freight Car America Versa Coil. And Norfolk Southern, uh, Canadian Pacific, Northwestern Oklahoma Railroad, and Mitsui Rail Corporation. Or Mitsui. It's also going to be available in HO and in scale as well. This is also new, but they didn't, they didn't have any documentation on this one. But these are 60 foot hive cube containers that are unique to the Canadian um, market here. And stretched out, so 60 foot containers. These are very interesting, so nothing new on this one. And then we have an unknown mystery model here. What's going to be? I don't know. They didn't have any documentation on it. I don't know if it's the F7. But they didn't have anything on this one. Check out Atlas. So here we have Atlas here with the MP36. This is really nice. Got a production sample here. Look at here. We got the Metro passenger cars. These are coming out. Looking around the second quarter, 
of 23. Three-foot center partition car. I like this one. Look at this. We don't see it though. These are nice. And we got some containers here. Look at that. How much is it for the dark one? I like this patch up. Our sets are actually being sold. Right across here, you can see the sets right there. They'll have for sale, and then this guy over here, Captain Ann. Oh, and the Fairmax one here is nice, too. They're like around 100 bucks. Okay. For you old scale guys out there, we have beautiful P42 right here. Here with Rapido, we're going to take a look at some of their new products. We got a Dash 840CM. So they revised the tooling on this one, so again, a lot of good detail that uh, Rapido has been known for. It's like center beam flat cars here. Apparel or hoppers here. These are nice. the Canadian piggyback flat cars. The photos, sometimes the photos don't really do it justice, I find. Especially depends on the monitor you use. Some of the photos that we get from the factory are pretty terrible too. We got some. Uh, we have the GP 9 RM slugs here. The road slugs. These are pretty nice. We got some pre-production samples over here. Or any send, or send me a reminder. Because that's I forget. Like, yeah. And, and you're not it's very nice. So here we have some of their pre-production samples of their turbo line that's going to be released soon. Right now, it, um, this is our first sample of it, so it's not like the final sound. But if you when it comes around, you should be able to hear it. Yeah. They're even going to make it in, in the Phase 5 version here, so that's a pretty cool. It's pretty cool here, this little end scale layout. But you see there's a, there's a, the, the sunlight's coming through the skylight up top. And it's really giving a nice realistic look here. Broadway Limited, you can see this big boy, an in-scale big boy that smokes this much. Incredible.
scheme, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever buy one, but it's really nice. This one's really pretty. See some of the lineup here. They got them. Very nice lineup here from the, from Broadway Limited. So now here we're here with skilled trains. We're looking at some of their new coil cars. Some new road numbers this year. That's nice. Now with their coil cars, as most of you already know, it comes with the load already inside. It's a very nice detail on all these. Here's also new for scale trains. We have the S scale, finally. So this is some of their... And this is a new brand, S Helper Service. So now we're starting to, starting to, we're finally starting to see some of this tooling come in. Pretty nice, I don't know if S scale's I don't know if it's going to gain the popularity, but only time will tell. Alright, so here's some of the new announcements from Scale Trains as well. This is the uh, GE AC44 CWs. These are the, um, <laughs> like the Dash 9s, except these are the AC traction motor. Uh, very similar, well, well, if you're not paying attention, similar in overall shape, but they have different variations in design. And I pre ordered some of these already from um, Athern, and I didn't know Skill Change was making it, so I think I'm gonna get these versions instead. And it's got the, oh, yeah, this is really nice. I like this. Really like this. And you see the CSX, they have the lightning bolt on it. Really like it, really like that. And then I love this Ferromex up here. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh yeah, it's like a rock protectors in the in the windshield. Yeah, but this is really nice. I like this. Okay, black cars too. So here's some more announcements that they have. You can see here's the rest of the Norfolk Southern Heritage. They are missing the Southern unit here, but you can see that they're now doing the rest of the Heritage units in the ES44 ACs here. These also have the, uh, unlike the earlier one releases that other companies did, these have the, the PTT antenna on top. You can see on top there, so they're, they're the more modernized versions of this. Really? It's a very nice. I, th I think this, is, again, Scale Trains is, is we've seen these models before, but not in the, the current updated roster fleet like they have now. Interesting. Yeah. 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 But you just want this is super. Oh, this is 
that's the Bengay stuff. Now we're taking a look at Bachman. I love these Chargers. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. Up north there, they have a train set, which is the, uh, has the Amtrak. Wow, it's really nice. I'm going to move this over a little bit because we got to see that number 309. Look at that paint job. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I thought the last one they did with the with the with the phase five uh, phase six variation actually. So I, what is this like a phase six B? But they they can do so much beautiful paint job on these engines and the, and the lines just flow very nicely. This is really pretty. I like the way it looks. Turn it around. Yeah, I'm definitely getting one of these. Actually, I'm going to get both of them because this is number 309, and behind here we have number 311. 311. So I'm going to get both of these. These are really nice. some pre-production samples because the wheels roll because there's no motor in it so wow these are really nice display it properly there it is look at that and so now we're going to take a look at Miani customizable bench work here Here's a, when I, considering building my layout permanently right now, I was actually considering doing this kind of bench work. And you see they, they sell custom bench work here. It is kind of pricey though, but you can configure this. I mean, you could probably build something like this on your own for less money, but this, the quality and the way it's constructed is really nice. So I'm really impressed by this. I'm really, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to get money one of these for my layout at home. I mean, you can do so many different variations with them. So I like this a lot. Very nice setup. So I'm going to measure my basement, and then once I'm done with the renovations, then I'm going to put in new lighting and my floor and then probably buy one of these and set up my layout. It's, it's really beautiful. I mean, all the bench work is here and everything. So now we're going to take a look at Walther's. I love this Canadian Canadian Pacific Rail gone, gondola. Look at it. Really nice. So one of the things I like about the Walther's main line is that you're getting, even though this is this is not as detailed, you can see there's no grab irons on it and no windshield wipers or nothing. The price on these are are affordable compared to like scale scale trains model. Now Obviously, the scale train is going to have everything, especially with the, with the river counter versions. But I think that this is important because we have, you know, finally someone can get modern engines without having to pay all, a whole lot of money for it. So this is one of the, the things that I like about Walters. I like this one here. Look at this. This is the 60-foot uh, Pullman standard uh, bulkhead car, flat car. So I like this one a lot. Take a closer look at it. Yeah, I like that. Again, this is also Walter's main line. This is going to come in 
3498. That's the MSRP. So you can, you know, you know, you're gonna expect to see a little bit uh, less for your Walters dealers out there. But I like it. I, I think I, I like what Mainline has done so far. They have a really, really nice. And they're also doing Mainline here, uh, Horizon. These are going to be at fifty dollars each. I know Rapido has done these before, and they were expensive. But now Walther's, you know, again, it, it's not going to be as detailed as Rapido, but it's still very nice again. And then it's the, the Horizon Coach. It's going to come in the uh, Amtrak Phase 5, or Phase 4, for Travel Mark. So... It's a phase four. This would be a phase four. Very nice. Here's uh, Walter's Proto. I got a. This is nice. This has got a nice weight to it, and if this is a pre-production sample, it's 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 really heavy. This is a 67 foot Trinity, 6351 four bay covered hopper. I like this one too. The weight on this is impressive. I can't I can't believe it. That's really nice. And of course, this is nice too. I always, I'm a, I love these Gunders and Well cars. This is the rebuilt 53 foot, and that's also new. Also, this is the. Wow, look at that! Again, this is Walter's Proto. It's going to be definitely a lot more expensive than the main line. And. Nice also. These are the right here. Look at this. The modified tank cars here. I'm really liking them right now. All this stuff looks good. Well, that was one great show that we had here at the Springfield Train Show. I just want to say special thanks to all the staff who was there, uh, who helped put on a great, uh, great show once again. I mean, uh, a lot were out there help. A lot of the people there, uh, you know, this, this this show wouldn't have gone as smooth as it does. And I, I really appreciate a lot of their help and effort that they put in. Uh, also, the vendors, a, a lot of the vendors and the manufacturers showed up with the with displaying some new product. That's always great. Nice to see the hobby still thriving and growing, uh, and it's it's nice to see some of the people there and, and the big turnout that we've had uh, compared to last year when we had the, the big snowstorm. So I did manage to pick up some some items from the video. So uh, as you saw there, uh, I did pre-order those those Amtrak Siemens chargers. So I I thought that was really nice. It's this those Phase Sevens, and uh, so I think that's really really neat. So. Um, I'm going to show you guys some some of the items I picked up and uh, let you see before uh, we wrap things up.